Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 23050 Southwest Saunders Drive here in Sherwood. We're located in the crawl space. We're going to go through a three inch ABS clean out here. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. The camera's going to be moving quite fast on the way out here. I've got to go through a lot of twists and turns through the crawl space, but I will reel back slower. Transitions over to schedule 3034 PVC pipe here at 49 feet. All right, here at 90, well, just about 93 feet out, we have reached the main lateral. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start reeling back here. Most of the water is drained out of the line at this point. I may actually have to make two different video links for this one. Unfortunately, the battery on my monitor is probably going to give out before we're done with this. I may have to change batteries and make another video, but... Now, throughout this PVC section, there are some, I some issues going on. This joint's not terribly bad, but there is some... It is somewhat offset. Another offset joint there that's creating some standing water. It's uh, it, there's it's more than a quarter inch of standing water. It's kind of hard to gauge beyond that, but my camera is catching on the lips on these joints here. But yeah, this section of pipe here has settled quite a bit. You can see the difference in height here from this pipe to the next. So it's it's settled there. It looks like by about half to three quarters of an inch that whole section of pipe there's also a section through here that looks like it has been crushed yeah another kind of wonky joint here this is something you don't normally see with plastic pipe so it looks like a fairly significant amount of settling has occurred And this is the portion of the line here that, that has been crushed. You can see that the top of the line here is smashed down. Another spot where the joints become offset as well. I'm going to keep pulling back here a little bit. I just want to make sure I'm covering all the pipe I need to here before I go locate. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and uh, locate the camera right here at this transition.
Yeah, I'm going to locate this particular joint right here. I just moved the camera forward a little bit. This is really where the issues begin right here. This is where the water starts pooling. The pipe is smashed. This is underneath the driveway. I'm going to go mark it uh, with a white X. And then basically everything from this point out to the main lateral, I mean, there's a there's a, a myriad of problems going on here. I'm basically going to lo locate everything that's on property. As I understand it, the city of uh, Sherwood handles the uh, part of the line from the, where the street curb starts. Okay, locate the camera right here in the driveway, four feet seven inches deep. It's marked with a white X. Okay, I marked here, this is right where the driveway meets the street. So it's about 57, from a 57 feet to 70 feet, about 13 feet of pipe. I'm consistently getting a depth of around 4 feet, 5 inches deep across basically that whole section of the line there. We do have some standing water. Uh, the reason I'm recommending that is some of the, the joint there just past where the, uh, or just before, I guess, 70 feet, there is a joint that's become offset. We have this section of the line here that's got a big belly in it. It's also get, it's also been crushed. So I'd recommend just updating that whole section there from basically where the pipe has been smashed all the way to the curb. And any of the issues beyond that point, there's some other offset joints out in the road. You'd have to contact the city and let them know about those. I'm also going to recommend a hydrojet. There's quite a bit of, uh, it looks like, grease buildup here in the sewer line. Okay, I'm coming back to the crawl space at this point. All the pipe leading out to the crushed area that's about that's at 57 feet is in, is in good shape and functioning properly. There's just some grease buildup that needs to be cleaned out. Uh, everything from about 57 feet out to the main lateral uh, is showing some issues there. So anyway, that 13-foot uh, section under the driveway, that is what I recommend correcting and then a hydrojet to clean the line out.